What's good folks, Rudd's here. Today's soap review features Colonel Conk, Bay Rum. Colonel Conk has been around for uh, as long as I can remember in the uh, wet shaving space. Um, I don't know quite when they were established, but uh, it's been at least six years since they've been providing uh, shaving soap to the uh, wet shaving community um, worldwide. Uh, they're well known for their visibility worldwide as well as their affordability of product. They're a U.S. soap maker based out of New Mexico. Um, they can be found at notable retailers including Amazon, MaggotRazors.com, WestCoastShaving.com, and of course direct from their website. So, uh, you'll probably be let be wondering why Rudd's is using Bay Rum. Uh, many of you know that I swore the scent off several years ago. Uh, but like with anything, I think it's good to revisit scents that you once maybe didn't enjoy, but perhaps could enjoy again. Um, so went with the Bay Rum scent, which happens to be Colonel Conk's most popular scent. And uh, it's quite a traditional... Uh, men's grooming scent, if you will. If you look across the board, Bay Rum is probably one of the most widely made scents in uh, men's grooming, wet shaving, and the like. This one features notes of bay, vanilla, and cinnamon. And believe it or not, I actually find it quite pleasant. I don't dislike it like I used to. Um, Looking forward in the future to trying other variations to see if it if it's the entire genre that's come back to me or, or perhaps just this one uh, gets the seal of approval. Interestingly enough as well, Mrs. Rudd's approves of this for casual use. She enjoys the scent for kicking around the house. Scent strength on this is mid both off of the... Uh, puck and as well as uh, as you lather and shave with it and since I'm not really familiar with the genre I leaned on trythatsoap.com to give me some comparatives and it came up with uh, Cooper and French Rum Runner as well as Sterling Soap Co. Bay Rum. So uh, Colonel Conk uses a glycerin based soap which to my surprise is uh, very hotly debated in the uh, wet shaving community. It's got uh, quite the following and quite a few detractors. As always, I'll list the ingredients below for you to take a peek at. The soap puck itself is uh, very firm. Not as firm as triple milled, but probably one of the firmest uh, soap pucks I've used. Uh, that's non-triple milled. It's got quite a narrow hydration band in my testing. Um, it, it's very easily overwatered, so I suggest you load it heavy and introduce your water uh, slowly, and it will whip up a uh, lather that's uh, quite airy and fluffy, uh, and will have the same consistency as meringue. The slickness, to my surprise, is uh, very good. Both primary and residual slickness are uh, very good, and they allow the uh, razor's blade to glide without fear of drag or uh, catching yourself. Unfortunately, post-shave is uh, well below average and certainly not in the conversation with anything in the artisan space. Um, when you rinse the soap away, it's pretty much gone, and uh, my skin was quite tight. Definitely needed an aftershave and a uh, balm once I finished my shave the other day with this. Given the metrics we just mentioned in my testing of this soap base, 
Colonel Conk receives a shave score of 68. Um, the only thing that comes to mind that's similar to this is the uh, previous How to Grow a Mustache base known as Synergy Soap. All right, we're back. Um, despite not having a uh, luxury shave, uh, I can tell you this soap is far better than any uh, canned foam or canned gel you can uh, purchase at your local drugstore. I, I see this as a uh, wonderful starting point uh, on a uh, wet shaving journey if you care to try uh, several scents with, uh, you know, mediocre performing soap, but it will teach you how to lather um, and give you a good enough shave that you'll uh, find the light of uh, wet shaving. Um, stupid cheap, I think this is about $4 for, per puck, maybe even less. Uh, so certainly there's viability in the market, uh, as is um, evident in their worldwide popularity. Uh, so congrats to Colonel Conk on their continued success, and uh, thanks all for watching. As always, thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it. Comment below if you have anything to say, and if you're not already a subscriber, please become one. See ya.